Hey, 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 what's up, what's up, Chico here. So, we've been playing some private matches like pros. <laughs> what I mean is with game battles slash MLG settings. You know, no kill streaks, no akimbos, no RPGs, C4s, noob tubes. Basically, all of the crap removed, just gun skill, tactics, and teamwork. My friends and I. By the way, they are my friends and I don't really want to call them my clan because the word clan sounds like we are in martial law. <laughs> Besides, we are friends. Right, guys? Right, guys? <laughs> anyway, we do it every weekend when most of us are available to, you know, kind of sharpen up our game, get a little practice, and prepare for the upcoming Black Ops 2 tournament. By the way, this is the update to the quote-unquote Black Ops 2 tournament we played a few weeks back. We were told that there will be a Black Ops 2 tournament a week after its release. So yeah, that's coming soon. Hopefully people will come to play because it looked to me like there's not too much people interested in the follow-up call slash event where they announced the tournament. So back on topic. So with game battles and MLG settings, if you know or if you watch professional gaming or by logic, you know quick draw is the only second tier perk in use and that it's only dead silence in the third tier because everyone is sound whoring. Which means stalker has no place here. You know where I'm getting at. The good old assault rifle plus stalker dilemma. So I continue to practice at public matches using only quick draw and dead silence and an ACR with the red at sight, no suppressor. Yeah, that's right. I have tried this before and I gave up on it. But here I am again and you know what I found out? What everyone already knows. I conclude that submachine guns are king in MW3. I mean you run faster, aim down sight faster, strafe faster, kill faster, hit fire more effectively and you can even consistently get long range kills with some guns. For the second time, I give up on insisting to use assault rifles without stalker on. The kinds of kills, even multi kills that I know I can consistently get with some machine guns and assault rifles with stalker, all unsuppressed, even against good players, are unachievable with an assault rifle without stalker. I don't know how the pros do it, but I guess that's why they are pros. Assault rifles get frustrating because even with quick draw on, you can't be aggressive because you know 90% you will lose your gunfights unless you have considerable distance from your opponent. I'll probably just use submachine guns when we get some scrims on again. Then I'll just practice some more in pubs using the MP7 or UMP45 for range or the PP90 for fast kills. Although it doesn't seem to be the case based on my very limited hands-on experience with the game, I hope this will not be a problem in Black Ops 2. And I am worried because I don't want to rely on a single perk or a single attachment to be able to use my favorite weapon class. Just look at submachine guns right now in MW3. You are basically free to choose any perk combination and any proficiency. You don't have to have quick draw on to aim faster because you can already do that. You don't need stalkers to strafe faster because that will be redundant. Shouldn't that be the case for any weapon class and not lose its competitiveness? I'm sorry. I feel like I have said these things in my video so many times. It's just such a big deal for me because I am always looking to get better. Anyway, no matter how I do, these screams that we have at least once a week is some of the most satisfying and intense games we play. Or at least for me alone. None of the BS like death streaks, playing with and against good players, requires teamwork and communication. Nobody worries about anything else other than the win, 
It's fast paced, no butt hurt cry babies calling your mama names. It helps grow your skill and brings out your best and most importantly it's fun. Anybody who's into Call of Duty or any competitive game should try their respective competitive or professional settings. It's just so different. The things you do that normally work in pubs seem so newbie in these settings. It's like it makes you assess yourself more accurately. Alright, so the gameplay you're watching is an underground MOAB using the P90 and the Specialist Strike package. Thank you for watching. Please click that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Uh, leave me a rating and see ya!